that anchor. It's your Bucket Town Brunette here, indoors. Since Graham left to discover the outdoors, I've decided that I'm gonna stay right here and see what it's like to live indoors all the time. But unlike Graham, this will be my own way of living indoors. It'll be extreme indoor living. Recently, the audience at Coffee House Off the Square was treated to some Celtic music, and the old Derby Academy got a history lesson through quilts. Coming soon, you may want to stop by the farmer's market for some local produce, or the library to find a book you might have missed. To wrap up our show, we'll look at an author who stopped by the Hingham Public Library and get a quick tease of an all-new Harbor Media original comedy show called Lighten Up. Let's watch some Celtic music. That is what Graham would say. Are you guys ready for a slip jig? Coffee House Off the Square hosted the Celtic music group Fellswater on January 20th. The concert was held in the Fellowship Hall at the Old Parish House. The audience was treated to both the sounds of Irish and Scottish tunes. Admission to Coffee House Off the Square events helps support the Unitarian Universalist Service Committee, an organization dedicated to opposing oppression around the world and advocating for economic and environmental justice. Wait, why am I reading the newspaper? That's not something Morgan would do. That's what Graham would do. And I'm not Graham. It's gotta be more extreme. Like, reading the newspaper on the computer. Man, did someone turn the heat off? It's getting cold in here. And speaking of cold, the old Derby Academy had a presentation about 200-year-old quilts. Wish I had one of those right now. That's right, Pam Weeks, Binney family curator at the New England Quilt Museum, made a presentation on Civil War soldiers' quilts at the Old Derby Academy on January 28th. Her presentation explored the many women from various commissions who produced these quilts for soldiers. Some quilts had stories sewn right into them through inscriptions and designs of important places and symbols. 19th century quilts were also on display from the Hingham Historical Society. If there was one major takeaway from this event, it was to always sign your quilt. Wow, I really don't have to leave the house. I've got social media, internet streaming services, same day shipping, online psychologists, avatar interaction, the dark web. Oh look, Hingham's holding a winter farmer's market soon. But I could just do my on online shopping for food. Mm. Decisions, decisions. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on February 10th and 24th and March 10th and 24th, the Hingham Farmer's Market will take place at Second Parish Church, located at 685 Main Street. Vendors from local and abroad will make their way to Hingham to share their own produce, meat, poultry, and seafood that likely won't be anything like they got at your local supermarket or that can ship the same day online. Sorry. That last one made me hungry. But don't worry, we'll get back to the extreme in just a minute. Why is there a book in here? Oh, cute! Graham drew a picture of me. Missing? Five dollar reward? I don't think so. I'm worth at least. I'm priceless. And so is the pleasure you will find in attending Hingham Public Library's great books you may have missed. Collection development librarian Peter Thornell shares with you several different titles from both genres in fiction and nonfiction. The audience is welcome to refreshments and to share their impressions. February 24th at 11 a.m. Don't miss it. Wait, why am I reading a book? That's not extreme enough. It's time for some gaming. Mashed potato pants? Yeah. It's Furby Unhinged 665. Okay, all right. So 
we gotta get to the Ferris wheel. It's a way better vantage point. And don't forget, on D-Day setting, it's just you and me, all right? It's gonna be like shooting fish in a barrel when we get up there. No, 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 mashed potato pants, don't go in there. No, it's a trap. Mashed potato pants, no. I guess it's just me now. Okay, all right. Catch me if you can, you noobs. We're almost there. Ferris wheel, here we come. Almost the Ferris wheel. What? Where are the lights? Where am I? I was almost there. Ugh. How am I gonna watch Harbor Media's newest content now? On the latest episode of Headspace, Ken Brack stops by the Hingham Public Library to discuss his book, Especially for You. Having faced a difficult loss himself, Ken discusses how writing his book was a journey of exploring others' response to grief as a way to tend to his own loss and help lift others up in the face of tragedy. Along with his wife, Denise, Ken also opened up a nonprofit bereavement center in Kingston, Mass, where profits from his book will go. Also to view now, Harbor Media has unleashed its first comedy series, Lighten Up. A Hingham puppet named Newton is both threatened and challenged when the community access station he is a member of begins to seek corporate aid to ensure its survival in the age of internet TV. Lighten Up is a satire on Harbor Media, the town of Hingham, and the political climate of cable programming. Well, that's about it. Anchors away. Until next time. You know, Graham would never open these. But I'm not Graham. So I'm going to open the orange one. We're being evicted?